Welcome back to another episode of our new Destiny 1 character series. In the last episode we had an insane amount of luck with our engrams and other various rewards and if you missed that episode, it'll be linked in the description box below. In this episode we're looking to complete another exotic quest, the Kvostov Auto Rifle Quest. Obviously, as many of you know, this is the starter weapon in Destiny 1 and even has been brought into Destiny 2 with new light for new players. During Year 3 of Destiny 1, it was turned into an exotic that could be customized more than any other gun in the game by changing its archetype and using it as a burst or a full auto or even a single fire weapon. It's definitely a unique weapon and I can't wait to get my hands on it once again. But before we get into this episode, I just wanted to thank you all so much for the support on the last episode and for the continued support of this channel. You guys are the reason I keep doing this and I really appreciate each of you who stop by and check out the videos. I hope I can continue to entertain you all moving forward. But let's get right into the episode. So there are a few ways to begin the Kvostov quest. One requires venturing into some areas on the Plaguelands and acquiring the schematic, or we can simply just dismantle our white Kvostov. I chose the latter because it saves time, and on my main November Hotel account, I still have my original, untouched white Kvostov from year one in the vault so I can keep it for the nostalgia's sake. But on this new character, we don't care too much about the sentimental items. After we dismantle our Kvostov and acquire the schematic, Shiro gives us a quest to find weapon parts and Kvostov pages on the Plaguelands, so we gotta go find them. That. A Kvostov. Your first rifle, right? All right, there's a couple of pages. Now let's go find the parts. Now I know there's one in this room and then we gotta head to the Suffix Prime strike areas. Yeah, it's right back here. Right here. Oh man, this fusion is so satisfying. Ugh. Oh. And there is number two out of three. And the last one is just over the edge uh, right here. While picking up the third weapon part, I got a little distracted with the Siva Walker tank and just felt the need to kill it even though there wasn't really any need. Not quite. You know what, dude? You know what? We're gonna make it easy. Yep, you're done, Tank. You're done now. Just like that. Oh, you want a piece of this too, Shanks? See you later. We collected a few more pages around the plague lands and headed back to Shiro, who gave us the next step of the quest. A mission called a Kvostov Rising. But before we start it, we try our luck with some blue engrams to maybe get a little lucky, like the last episode, with a legendary or exotic drop. Can we get anything? Nope. Rip. But now it's time to start up the mission. 
It seems like yesterday we were racing the Fallen to get to that rusted old ship. Now we just need one little piece of metal. I think this mission is great. I just really like the dialogue from Ghost and the trip back through the original Cosmodrome area, this time covered in snow. I really did spend a long time searching for you. I'll always remember our first day through here. Here we go. There's a fallen captain nearby and he's got a pin on him. Bet he just threw it in with a bunch of other scrap. Doesn't even know what he's got. Well, let's get him then. That captain's using a powerful strain of SIVA. He'll be hard to take down. Keep after him. Damn. He's got a lot of health. Oof. He's all over the place. This mission contains some pretty chunky captains that take a good bit of effort to take down. Lots of health and fast regening shields, as well as their shields having match gain. But when we finally kill the SIVA captain, he drops an exotic, which at first I thought was just a regular engram, but it was the Kvostov. I don't actually think this is what was supposed to drop from this captain, considering the mission isn't done and the quest didn't finish. From what I remember, it was dropped from the final captain in the mission, but we got it a bit sooner, I guess. So I decided to go ahead and equip it for the rest of the mission. I count myself lucky I decided to swing back through Russia when I did. If I'd gone south instead of north, it could have been years before we met. We did it though. We got that ship flying, and I got you back to the city. And now look at everything we've done together. Take a look at that view. Can we swing over there? This upcoming clip is one of my favorite interactions with our ghost in the Destiny franchise. Every ghost is born knowing that we have to find our guardian. We don't know what they look like. Not on the outside, anyway. On the inside, I'd always known who you were, and that together, we could be something more. When you think about everything we've seen, everything we've done, I feel like I made the right choice. Hm. We should let Shiro know how it went out here. Let him admire his handiwork. And thanks, you know for being my guardian. We finally completed the Kvostov quest and returned to Shiro at the Iron Temple who shared some more great words about our new weapon. That is a work of art. It made sense though, right? The Cosmodrome was built by the same people that made this gun. They built it to last, and now so have we. Take care of her, Guardian, and she'll take care of you. But that's it for this episode, guys. Really hope you did enjoy, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more episodes in the future. I will see you Maintain all in the next episode, guys.